a new Tampa gas station owner believes he is the victim of a hate crime disguised as a burglary. News Channel 8's Janet Jones reports. When the store owners got here this morning, they noticed a lot of things were missing, and then they noticed this machine had been pried open, and the thief got close to $20,000. When I saw this machine broken, as soon as I turned the arm off, I look at this machine, I'm out of the store. I was scared. He's scared of this bandit who broke into his store, broke into this cash register, and took thousands in beer and cigarettes. Nothing, 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 nothing. While Wallet Abarumi is upset someone stole from him, he said this crime stems from a different issue. Late last night, Abarumi says he got a phone call and was threatened. It's American accent, 100% American. He said, if Muslims, I will get you, I will get your kids. Abarumi got off the phone and the man called back. Go back to your country. You know, and I said, we believe in one God. I believe in Jesus. My wife is Christian. She's American. And I love everybody. And he hang up. He was scared and closed his store early and went home. Then, this morning, he comes into this mess. It's a head crime, 100 percent. Detectives say they're looking into that possibility and also looking into the threatening phone calls. Meanwhile, Abarumi is certain the person who threatened him on the phone is the same person who broke into his store. I have the Quran right here. It was moved from here and thrown on the floor. I brought it back in. He threw that on the floor? It was on the floor, open, wide open. I brought it up there because I love it. I love this one. Abarumi says he tries to love everyone, but after the threat and the break-in, he's had enough. I'm willing to sell the place for half price today for my safety. This family is so desperate to find out who did this. They are willing to pay a $5,000 reward for anyone who has any information that would lead to an arrest in this case. In New Tampa, Jana Jones, News Channel 8.